They found that your letters arrived 35% quicker if you lick the mailman instead of the stamps. <laughs> And here's another one of those little... They're called newspaper fillers. They, they, they have to fill out a column, they come up with these little things, but this is true. The Avon Corporation, you may have read, is in court. And you know why? They are charged with raiding a Mary Kay dumpster in search of trade secrets. Apparently it was a big pink dumpster and smelled great. All right, here's another According to United States uh, World News and U.S. News and World Report, a fine, prestigious magazine, three out of five Americans, they said, according to a poll, believe in hell. Now, I should point out that, depending on their people's attitudes, I suppose they have, they view it hell differently. Some people actually hold it as a, as a nightmare scene of, of fire and, and pain and screaming. Others believe it's the economy section of Delta Airlines. <laughs> My personal view of hell is sitting behind that desk for eternity interviewing Heather Locklear. <laughs> what can she do? She's not that powerful. <laughs> Take on somebody who can't hurt you. <laughs> you're, you're perfect for this show tonight. We've got a great show for you. We have Mr. John LaRiquette here. We have a nightclub. Young comedian who's been with us a couple of times before, uh, Anthony Griffith is here. A very, a very uh, humorous guy, fine columns, writes funny stuff. Roy, uh, Roy Blunt Jr. is with us tonight, and, and as you know, Monday, this coming Monday, are the Oscar Awards. So tonight, for our third year in a row, we are going to present, I guess you wouldn't call it a salute to the Oscars. <laughs> it is our answer to the Oscars. And right after this next break, stay where you are, we are going to present our third annual Sniveling Weasel's Choice Award. So stay where you are. And we'll... Weasel's Choice Awards. Yes, folks, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're doing it again, and welcome to the third annual Sniveling Weasel's Choice Awards. Well, the air right now is, is full of electricity, and so is the prod we're using on the weasel. Now, let me, let me explain how we do this. The weasel has been kept in an old Trivial Pursuit box with holes poked in the top at the accounting firm of Price Slaughterhouse. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we have a ramp leading to five bowls filled with Purina Weasel Chow and each bearing the name of a nominee. The bowl the weasel eats from will identify the winner. Now, many people ask, why a weasel? Well... They obviously don't know how many guys with brooms it would take to push a rhino down that ramp. <laughs> well, the weasel, the weasel's on stage, and I think it's fair to say that right now the H in the Hollywood sign stands for, holy, what's that smell? But first, but to get things going, ladies and gentlemen, our traditional opening dance number. Senseless and cruel, this show is going to be right up your alley. Now, let me point out should the weasel have any trouble choosing a bowl tonight, he'll be propelled along by our official weasel whacker. Please welcome the lady whose whack has lost a thousand weasels, the lovely Lenore. That's right. Thank you, dear. That's right, friends. When you're talking whack in Hollywood, you're talking Lenore. Now, <laughs> 